Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the address unreachable in Google Chrome. Now, the first method I would suggest you to do is to restart your router. Once you restart your router, you may go ahead and try to open Google Chrome and check if you are able to access internet on your browser. In case if you are able to access internet, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. The second method, what you could also try is in case if you have an alternate browser, Try opening Microsoft Edge or Safari and try if you are in able to access internet on the alternate browser. In case if you are able to access the internet on the alternate browser, it is an indication that there could be an issue with your Google Chrome. So you might want to go ahead and uninstall and reinstall Google Chrome and check if your issue has been resolved. Now in spite of all this, if you are still facing a problem, the next method is to go ahead and go ahead and disable the proxy server. To disable the proxy server, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, go ahead and type inetcpl.cpl and then click on OK. This should open the Internet Properties window. Under the Internet Properties window, click on the Connection tab and then click on LAN Settings. Under this, make sure use a proxy server for LAN has been unchecked. If it is checked, go ahead and uncheck this box. Click on OK and then click on OK. Then try to open Chrome and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. The next method you can also do is you can also check the proxy server settings in your Google Chrome. To do this, you will have to open Google Chrome on your computer. Click on the three dotted lines at the top right corner and then click on settings. Once you are on the settings, on the left hand side, go ahead and click on system. Under system, you will see an option which says open your computer proxy settings. Click on it. Under this, make sure you have an option checked for automatically detect settings and also check the use a proxy server has been turned off in case if it is on make sure you uh, it has been turned off click on save close this window and then try to open google chrome and check if you are able to access internet on your google chrome in case if you are able to access well and good you don't have to try the next step the next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and clear the dns cache in your google chrome so to do this you will have to go open google chrome on your computer now in the address bar you will have to go ahead and type the address chrome colon forward slash forward slash net dash internals slash hashtag dns i will also mention this command in the video description and hit enter once you have this option choose the option which says host resolver cache and click on clear host cache once this is done you may close the chrome and then try to open google chrome and check if you are able to access the internet now in spite of trying all this step and if you are still not able to access internet in google chrome the next method what you could do is you can go ahead and change the dns settings on your windows device to do this um, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run in the run window, you may go ahead and type ncpa.cpl and then click on OK. Once you have the network connection window, you may go ahead and choose the network connection what you're using. In my case, I'm using a Wi-Fi. Do a right click on the network connection and then click on properties. Under the Wi-Fi properties, you will have to go ahead and choose the internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and then click on properties and use the option which says use, use the following DNS server address. Under this, under preferred DNS server, go ahead and type the numbers 8.8.8.8 and under the alternate DS, DNS server, you may go ahead and type 4.2.2.2 and then you may go ahead and click on advanced. Under advanced, click on the DNS and then under the add, go ahead and type the uh, DNS 1.1.1.1. This is the DNS for the Cloudflare. Click on OK. Click on OK. OK again. Close this window and then try to open your Google Chrome and check if you are able to access the Internet. In case if you are able to access the internet, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, the last method, uh, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and reset the TCP IP. Now, to do, to do this, you will have to open the command prompt on your computer. So, you may do a right click on the start button and then click on run. Or in the search window, you may go ahead and type command prompt. Once you have the best match for the command prompt, you may do a right click and uh, choose the option as run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may go ahead and click on yes or continue on the screen now once you have the command prompt you will have to run the following commands on your in your command prompt the first command is ipconfig space forward slash release and hit enter and the next command is ipconfig space 
forward slash all and hit enter and the next command is to, you will have to go ahead and type the command to flush dns so you can do a right click and then paste the command from the video description that is uh, for ip config space forward slash flush dns and hit enter and the next option is to renew the ip address the command is ip config space forward slash renew and hit enter the next command is the net sh to, uh, to set the dns so you can do a right click and hit enter and the last command is to reset the windsock so you can copy the command net sh windsock space forward slash reset and hit enter with this uh, once all the command has been uh, executed on your computer you can close this window restart your computer and then try to open google chrome and check if your issue has been resolved this should definitely fix the problem so in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.